guys, welcome back to BNG's Hot Topics. I'm your host, XEK. And in today's show, I've got Marcus sitting in front of me, CEO of Rising Talents. So wait, let's go back to our conversation. You said you was how old? I just turned 20. When did you just turn? In April. Wow, so... Whoa, how old was you <laughs> when you started Rising Talents? Um, I was 16, 17. And how did that, what, what, what was it when you went, okay, back when you were 16, 17, mm-hmm. like, what was it you was actually trying to start? Um, so it was just literally a platform just to showcase my friends. Mm. Um, as in, I had 10K followers on my personal, mm-hmm. but I wanted to keep it like a, like a separate brand, as in Marcus and then Rising Talents. Okay. Um, so it, it literally just me posting my friends and then the views started going up mm-hmm. and then people started sending their videos in. Right. And um, I, like on Instagram, there's hardly any other talent pages as in like the most of them are like American. Of course. American based. And the ones on the UK only promote like the, the already known mm. artists. So I was like, there's a gap in the market and I just took it. So... This was around 2017 you started this yeah. and it's 2019 and you mm. have how many followers? Um, so 147. Seven, yeah. Yeah, so it's and nearly on 150k as well. I'm sure when you started this, you never saw this coming. You oh, didn't no, see 100%, this. No. So when did you start to realise this was taking off? Um, when like celebrities started following it. So okay. like um, Rhea Ferdinand, um, Lil Mama from America. America. Okay. Yeah, and just like big names supporting it. And is it only you yourself who manages this yeah. account? So tell us, how has it been? Because I'm sure you're young, like, mm-hmm. you know, me and you. That's what's getting on my nerves, the fact <laughs> that you're actually making a move and we're the same mm. age. But how, as a young person, how does that CEO status sit well with you? Like, how does it? Um, It's, it's crazy because mm. normal CEOs are like 40, 50. Yeah. So especially from being a CEO from young, mm. it's always good, as in like the title. Mm-hmm. Um. Also, like, for example, when I go places and stuff, it's like, oh, that's the guy who owns Rising Talents. Yeah. And it just feels good. Mm. As in, like, it's all positive rather than, be like, a negative. Yeah. So your mum must yeah. be proud of yeah, you. Yeah, 100%. Oh, my gosh. You feed the family. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is big move. So mm. how would you use this, what you have, this type of skill and mentality? How would you kind of like would you, are you would you do master classes like in the future of how you can start your business get it to here to there because um, that's what people yeah. are doing now so literally i do help people like for example lots of people hit me up as like how can i start a business and stuff right. um one thing i always tell them is to always network mm-hmm. um so before i literally oh shit i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah, i have fine. to start that question again so with your skills that you have now from your previous experience and what you've mm-hmm. been doing with Rising Talents, would you set up like master classes to like teach people? Um, I already kind of do that at the moment, um, okay. but it's not like a proper class. It's just like I help um, give them tips like through social media. Mm-hmm. As in, the one tip that I always tell them, like tell people, is to network. Mm-hmm. As in, like just say hello to someone see what they do Mm -hmm. um so before i would never used to do that at all like Mm -hmm. i was literally so shy as in like if i saw someone very important like i know that they can help me i would just avoid it type of thing but now i go to them shake their hand and just ask what they do and stuff Mm -hmm. even like for example when i take ubers i used to just normally either uh, um, plug my phone in and listen to music or just be quiet Mm. but now i just talk to them see how long they've been doing uber is like the only thing they do mm. and yeah it just it helps so it's all about like networking yeah isn't it? so having this account you probably see it all like people send you different type of mm-hmm. things like 100%. how do you deal with all of that um so i kind of fill out um mm. the t- type of talents and stuff mm. so um the main thing i go for is quality because mm. some some people can be good as in like they've got talent but if their quality is not standard, then I can't post it. Mm. And how do you deal with people? Do people come to you like, you didn't post my video? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how do you deal with um, that? How Basically, I just show them the DMs mm. and I was like, F- can you find your name? Mm. If they can't, then they can't mm. really say anything. Because I get like over 100 requests a day. Yeah. And it's just hard because people also send in their, vid- um, their friends' videos and it just goes like overlaps. Mm-hmm. So how does your phone deal with all these things? Uh, my phone, basically all my notifications are off. Mm-hmm. Um, so normally I'm on Instagram pretty much the most of the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
going through the videos and stuff is quite easy for me mm. as in um like I've, I've got kind of like ocd so on my private account i go through everything okay i don't like the messages are coming up but on rise of talents it's very hard for me to do that okay so tell us a bit about like when you was younger mm -hmm. how, what was your ambition and dreams to become before you even thought of rising talents uh so basically um i used to be a gamer as okay. in like i love games mm. um i would go to bed at like 5 a.m knowing i have school mm -mm. i have to wake up seven <laughs> and i would just literally play games um also my brothers play for foot um arsenal okay um so i like got that football um i used to love football i support arsenal as well all oh, right oh apparently that's <laughs> not a good team <laughs> do, you, do you like football or not I support Man ever since I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. But so rising talents, where are you planning to take this? Like, are mm -hmm. you planning to do showcases in the future? Are we planning mm -hmm. to see you in America? Where are we? Planning yeah, literally. To see you? Um, so I'm just trying to um, um, like like make a foot in in the UK, as mm -hmm. in like everywhere in the UK will know about rising talents, mm -hmm. and then hopefully take it overseas, different countries as like in Europe, Asia and stuff. Mm. So since you've become like this CEO and now everybody mm. knows you're like your hood famous type mm. of guy, have you had that type of hate where people are just hating you for no reason? People want to um, knock you off your... No, to be honest, not to my face or anything as okay. in, because what I'm doing is positive. I'm mm -hmm. helping people like get their dreams if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's, I don't really get hate as in like that. That makes sense. Yeah. So look, does you do you have them cousins as well, family friends that come up to you and try to beg it with you so they can get a feature on the <laughs> on the page? Um, to me, my my family members aren't really talented. Like okay. That, like even myself, I don't really have talent, but mm -hmm. I'll class my talent as in finding talent. Okay. So how do you separate business and relationship? So are you in a relationship? Have oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. How do you separate business and relationship? Because that's something us young people, we lose focus of. We get, mm -hmm. we either let money get to our minds or mm -hmm. love get to our minds. Like, how do you deal with both? Um, it's very, very hard. Mm. <laughs> As in, uh, my girl lives with me. Okay. Um, So it's like, when I'm doing Rising Talents and stuff, she's complaining because she wants attention. Yeah. But then I'm like, I need to do Rising Talents because at the end of the day, that's what's going to help, like, get my money up yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. okay so how what advice do you have with like keeping it separate and how to work on it because she's um, still your girl right yeah so um i would say just make time mm. um equal time as in like um spend time with obviously what you're doing your business and mm -hmm. stuff and also to spend time because at the end of the day it's like they're your partner right and it's like you, the end goal is to be a family and you can't like for example say um i'm always on the company she might lose interest mm. and just like go away if that mm. makes sense so are you planning to do like sponsorships or anything in the future like where rising talent sponsors something like you know mm. um so i've actually um sponsored a couple of events and stuff with okay. rising talents so there was a um a open mic that I sponsored recently okay um but also i'm actually looking for sponsors as well as in um i've got a series coming up um that's going to be helping singers okay and i'm going to be like i'm looking for um, sponsors to help with that all right sounds interesting so what mm -hmm. other plans do you have for rising talents I um so i'm trying to do a football team okay as in help um like obviously i know there's brilliant footballers yeah. but they don't have that um like network yep, as in yep, yep. um like they could be playing for sunday league teams and they could be amazing mm. but no one sees them mm. so i'm gonna help um be trying to help them mm -hmm. also um i'm trying to help pe like people who because the main um talents on rising talents normally singing dancing and rapping but also i'm trying to help like magicians and all the other so type of talents. all types of talents yeah. so that's what i think separates me from like for example, I've been compared to like GRM and stuff, mm. but it's like they're just solely for music, but mine's all type of talent. I'm comparing you to Simon Cow right now. <laughs> like I'm sitting with the next young Simon Cow. So what happens like if someone like Simon was to mm. reach out to you, don't forget me, but <laughs> if someone like Simon was to reach out to you to work, mm. like would you be all for it to go and work? Yeah, or would 100%. You? Um, obviously, like what he's doing with like brain's got talent and yeah. stuff it's like i look up to that yeah. type of thing yeah 
Also, um, one person that when I started off Rising Talents that I hit up was Jamal Edwards. Okay. Um, so he's the owner of SBTV. Yeah. Um, so basically, I just saw what he was doing at SBTV, and I was like, I can do something similar. Mm. Um, so he said we should do like a series or something together. Okay. Um, but I didn't end up taking it. But yeah. Are you looking into doing like short movies for the youths? Because you know a lot of youths have been complaining that mm -hmm. our short movies have been gone in mm -hmm. the UK because we ha we used to have a lot. Yeah, yeah. Really and right. now all of a sudden it's like we get all once in a while. Mm -hmm. Is rising talent something we should expect short movies from? Yeah, hundred percent. As okay. in, um, literally acting is a talent as well. Yeah. Um, so it could help um, upcoming artists and stuff get like a name out there. Okay, so where can we find you on all your social media? You've got merch as yeah, well. Yeah, um, so literally um, on, do I have time to say my story of the name's Rising Talents 1 or not? Yeah, you can go on. Okay, so um, basically I, before Rising Talents 1, I had mm -hmm. the official name Rising Talents. Mm -hmm. um, I ha Before I had a team as well, mm -hmm. who I, like upload and stuff until I got hacked. Mm -hmm. Um, when I got hacked, they changed the name, so they have the official Rising Talents name. Oh, wow. But they have zero posts and like 40 followers. Okay. Um, I've been trying to get back, but no one in Instagram is able to help. Okay. Um, so on Instagram is Rising Talents 1, same as Twitter and Snapchat. Um, YouTube is just Rising Talents. Okay, cool. And, then, uh, and where can we find your merch? Have you got merch or is it just um, exclusive for you? So at the moment, it's just exclusive to me. Mm -hmm. As in like, I only wear it for like self-branding. Yeah. But um, I'm sorting out my website and stuff and it should be coming. All right then. Thank you so much for coming on and speaking to us. No problem. And we hope to hear and see from you soon. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys for watching us and we'll see you guys in our next show.